your friend, Mr. Bill Cosby, has been sprung from prison. That's right. So, that's big. Yes. So, that is big. big. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So our peoples from the New York Post have said, Bill Cosby defiantly proclaims innocence after being sprung from prison. He defiantly, he as in Bill Cosby, defiantly proclaimed his innocence in a tweet after being sprung from prison this past Wednesday and included a photo of himself raising his right hand in a fist. Quote, I have never changed my stance nor my story. I have always maintained my innocence. Thank you to all of my fans, supporters, and friends who stood by me through this ordeal, unquote. Of course, he also had to give props to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court for upholding the rule of law. The 83-year-old added, referring to the uh, stunning decision issued hours earlier that vacated his conviction and the 3- to 10-year prison sentence. Mm -hmm. So he had spent the past two and a half years behind bars after being convicted in 2018 of drugging and sexually assaulting Andrea Constant back in 2004. So we're getting right into this. Uh, Cortez GPS, whoever wanted to jump in first. What does this mean as far as uh, the precedent for any kind of a case that comes after this? And uh, will will Cosby ever be the same again in the eyes of the people as well as in, in Hollywood? You know, Cosby never admitted to any rape. Mm -hmm. If you look at the facts of the case, he said he gave them pills. Okay. Giving somebody pills and raping somebody are two totally different things. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, you got to remember, these women showed up at this party. No one full well that pills will be distributed, much like parties today. Girls go, they got mollies, perks, whatever it is they do now. Mm -hmm. They know they're going there for that. Other things are going to happen. You can't call it rape if you didn't want him there. Well, you wanted him there because you showed up. So, you know, did he really rape you or not? Mm. I'm leaning towards no. Um, is Cosby line. going to be? Is his image changed in the public eye? Yes, to those that don't really understand. In the seventies, pills were being widely distributed at every party. Coke lined up on the counter. Yep. Any bar you went to, mm -hmm. it was a way of life. So he got some after he after he gave a girl some pills. How many get some after they give a woman a drink of uh, liquor or whatever it is? It's all the same thing. Okay, but then let but, me let me let me interject this though. Even though you're saying that it's been around since the 70s, yeah, we've seen uh, movies where they showed parties that were like that, from, from Coke to weed to, to whatever it may be, the pills all over the place. But here's the thing. It's, a, it's also, you got to look at, on the other side of the coin, was there any intent, like uh, a presumed intent that he was thinking in his mind, okay, these pills are here, I'm offering these pills, it's because I want something in the end. Could there, could you, do you have to acknowledge that part in his existence? Only if you're going to try to exclude the fact that he was only one of the biggest Hollywood stars around the, around the 70s and 80s. And why would I need pills to get some if I'm Bill Cosby in the 70s and 80s? Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's keep in mind, folks. Let's keep in mind. No means no. Yes. No means no in every right. situation. Mm -hmm. I, I feel I agree a bit with GPS what he's saying when you went to these kind of parties that was the kind of environment that's mm -hmm. how they they partied hard like yeah. that oh yeah and I, I felt as though a lot of these women that went to these parties and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to say if he did it or if he did not do it mm -hmm. when you go to these kind of parties I thought they were given rules at some of these parties like for example always always keep your drink fresh check your drink never leave your drink out of your sight that's the first thing you do if you're a female at these parties second of all what i gathered from a lot of these stories about him doing this stuff was these women were visiting him because they wanted some type of advancement in their career yeah so if you go to bill and you i guess bill's like a godfather of entertainment you go to him and he would make these connections for you you know automatically if you went to him for a favor, he was going to ask you for something in return. Mm. I mean, we that was a given. Yeah. Plus, the thing I like about this was his, he had some damn good lawyers. I mean, 
But they, Ooh, they, they look like a new set of lawyers because remember, if I'm right, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, GPS, most uh, of his uh, attorneys and everything were were uh, black and brown, if I'm correct. But oh, they yes. still are, man. The but first no, set, they're not. That, from what I saw, they were as white as ghosts. Well, the first, the first lady, I forget her name, mm -hmm. but I remember she was a black one. Yes. And then after her, Tom Mesereau showed up. Okay. Yeah. And folks, do yourself a treat. Type in Tom Mesereau on YouTube and listen to some of these, um, listen to some of the interviews with him. Mm -hmm. You're gonna learn a lot about a lot of cases, especially this guy, especially this case, mm -hmm. and how far it goes back. Okay. You know, when you think of the name Bruce Caster. I remember working at King of Prussia back in the mid to late 90s, and that name was ringing around then. When I heard Bruce Cast on it, I said, well, damn, how far does this go back? It goes back, man. The, yeah, I, the see, issue, yeah, I see. <laughs> the issue is, and this is what Bill did, this is if you have a high-power team of lawyers working with you, they made them, he made, he agreed with the DA, if I'm correct, to write out a deposition saying that anything I say will not incriminate me. Okay. This is when the old DA was in office. Right. What happened yeah, was when the old DA left out of office and the new DA came in, mm -hmm. he did not want to honor the deposition that Bill Cosby made originally to start out with. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, no, 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 no. Let's take his ass to court. Also, let's, th let's think about it. It's also race related. We Let's be real. Mm -hmm. Nobody don't want to come out and say it, but it's race related. They wanted to get that man a trial. And he said in, his, in the first with the first DA, he cut a deal with the first DA that anything I mm -hmm. say will not be used against me in a court of law. Correct. That's why this got thrown out. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that he was that that was the case until I did the research and everything. And I realized I was like, I was like, whether Bill Cosby is guilty or not, if your lawyer is, is that good enough to cut a deal with the DA, the DA needs to honor. I don't care how many different DAs come into that position they still need to honor that man and that's mm -hmm. that's what people are more pissed about was the fact that he you know you said he was not going to get brought up on charges that you guys weren't going to take him to court because they, they wasted taxpayers money man I mean but I think Bill if he goes to another another state yeah, he gets asked. Could be in different ball game, totally different ball yeah. game. But, but but here's a little twist I want I want to bring up here concerning this from our people's at the NY Daily News, Felicia Rashad, the uh, uh, mm -hmm. she actually offered a sincere apology to Howard University students for celebrating Bill Cosby's release. That was wrong. So the actress and star of The Cosby Show, Felicia Rashad, penned a letter that was sent out to students at Howard University where she's also now a dean. The letter contained yeah. an apology for her remarks that she made in celebration of Bill Cosby's sexual assault conviction being overturned by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. Quote, My remarks were in no way directed towards survivors of sexual assault. I vehemently oppose sexual violence, find no excuse for such behavior, and I know that Howard University has a zero-tolerance policy toward interpersonal violence, she wrote. Now, I don't like that shit. I no, like I don't like it all. either. I'm going to tell you why. Let me oh, go ahead, Okay, man. break it down, GPS. Go ahead, GPS. Break it down, okay. GPS, and I chime in. We've all been to college. The game doesn't change, only the players. Mm -hmm. The parties that were happening back in the 90s are the same ones that are happening on Howard's campus right now. Ooh. Well, at least not right now, but will be ha have happened spring and will happen in the fall. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to have alcohol and drugs passed around and everybody's going to show up to this party looking to have a good time, maybe hooking up, mm -hmm. but you can't say that this party that happened here in 2021 aren't the same ones that happened back in the nineties and then sure ain't the same ones that Cosby was at before all this uh, stuff broke loose. Mm -hmm. Well, I, so, I, no, I, I would say, I would say this though. I would say this and I don't mean to cut you off. I would say this. First of all, uh, and, and let's make this perfectly clear, I'm, we're definitely not singling out U Howard University in any way, shape, or form as far as types of parties or anything goes because these type of parties happen in every type of college, big That's or right. small, all over the country, and even over abroad. We've seen that happen. So let, let's just make that perfectly clear that this is not solely about howard because of uh felicia rashad's uh comments that she made this it's about just 
I would say it's kind of like a lifestyle in a sense. The college lifestyle. It's always drinking, not always, but uh, a, always, percentage, a percentage can be of okay. partying, drinking, listening to music. And sometimes there are those bad apples that spoil the whole bunch, bring in a little bit of uh, Coke, weed, whatever else. And they have their own um, personal agendas that they want. So that's why I was trying to say before GPS and Cortez, do you think that back in the day, during the 70s, if Cosby was doing this, as well as the le the latest conviction that he had before was just overturned, that he had his own personal agenda that he wanted with these women? Okay. I think he did. Okay. I mean, uh, I, the thing with Howard, let's be, let's be real, guys. She works for Howard. Mm-hmm. I feel as though she should stuck by what she the statement that she originally made. I think she had to change it because of the simple fact the position she has at Howard. Correct. Don't you do not want to bring any dark light to your employer. No. no. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's the problem I have is why do she has to be why she has to be the mouthpiece? Because I feel as though that if it was somebody of a different value mm -hmm. <laughs> or a different skin tone, I really think they would not have went after Felicia Rashad so savagely. Mm -hmm. I mean, no. I, I feel as though what she said was that was that was that that's how she felt. That's how mm -hmm. she felt. You know, she has a long standing relationship with Bill Cosby, you mm -hmm. know. I don't even be let's be real. I mean, has anybody in it on a Cosby cast have they complained about him doing that to them? No. <laughs> we haven't heard anything yet. So not mean doesn't mean that we might not hear anything, but uh, you know, this this uh commentary from Miss Rashad is probably going to be the catalyst for more domino effects down the road. I remember David Chappelle used to have a consent. He had that one skit where he did the consent method. <laughs> now, That's if you true. tell, like, if if you come over to a to a bachelor's apartment, it's up. I do feel as though the bachelor or bachelor has to make it very clear what their intentions are. Mm -hmm. I feel as though don't don't go in there blindly or naive, assuming we're not going to do anything. You probably will, but that needs to be established because something like this is going to happen. I I think I let's be real. Bill's intentions was to get a piece of ass. I mean, mm. I think that was it. You know, we, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. That's what he wanted. There but I'm not sure to the extent that these women, some of them probably knew because this is how this is what they do in Hollywood. This is a Hollywood culture. You know, mm. if you want to move ahead, you got to do certain favors with certain people. Yeah. It could be sexual or just business deals, you know. Mm -hmm. But it yeah, that, it's just, it just comes with the wear and tear of being in Hollywood. I mean, but unfortunately, Bill got caught with his hand in a cookie jar. Mm -hmm. Yes, there has been others that probably had me had their hands in the cookie jar, mm -hmm. aka forty five. Mm -hmm. AKA of, Harvey Weinstein. That, uh, he yeah, was taking Ke ass in L.A. and New York. Uh, Ke uh, Kevin Spacey from men also. and women. Don't forget Kevin Spacey. Kevin Kevin Spacey. Spacey. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey Epstein. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so remember though, the one thing that was, and you have to acknowledge the difference between back in the seventies, eighties era, to where it is now, including the whole Me Too movement. It's not like you're you're in that mindset. Okay, well, I'm here. I'm 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 getting to know this person just so I can get a smash. You know, you you have to number one, just in general. You have to respect the individual that you're with and not yeah. just assume things are just going to happen just because you're you're like a whining and dining and all this other kind of stuff. Oh, it's just automatic. Nothing's automatic. And, and the way, you know, the generations have evolved over time, you know, now it's more and where it should be. It's just more about respecting the individual of who they are and respecting, as Cortez says, no means no. It's 99% it, of the time could be no means no. It could be that 1% of the time. It's like, OK. Because, you know, people, you know, people are going to want to know both male and female. It's not always women. It's not always men. They want to know what your true intentions are. Am I just here just for the ride? Or is this something longer? What's the deal? Let me know up front so then I can either come inside the door or turn around and walk out the door. 